Okay, now this is fun. That's a big one. Can't even get the whole thing quite on the screen. Okay, there we go. Any any ideas from low power? Thinking angio fibroma was one time. Wow. Master. Yes, you are right. You got it from low power. Very good. This is a lot bigger than the angiofibromas, aka fibrous papules, that we see most of the time, right? Which is why it's in the study set. And the countless ones that I see every day are not. So usually we see these like little tiny, tiny white bumps on the nose or elsewhere on the face, but the nose is most common. But sometimes they can become large, pedunculated, even polyps. They tend to be more sessile, kind of wide-based polyps uh, but, or papules, but sometimes they can have like a little, look at the little stalk here. Like, looks almost like a skin tag, you know? But definitely doesn't look like a skin tag in the middle of it. For one, this was probably on the nose. See, we've got some little hair follicles with sebaceous glands in it, which is also evidence that it's probably not a tag, because tags conventionally are thought to not have adnexal structures in them. Um, and then we see dilated blood vessels, dense collagen background, and kind of plump spindle to stellate cells. Some combination of those three features present in variable amounts and variable patterns. So if you see a spindle cell lesion on the nose, the answer, unless it's floridly, obviously malignant, in which case it's probably a AFX pleomorphic dermal sarcoma spectrum or a spindle squame, spindle melanoma. But if it's not obviously malignant, the next top 10 things in your differential for a spindle cell lesion that looks probably benign on the nose of an adult should be angiofibroma, angiofibroma, angiofibroma because there are lots of different variations of them and they can look really weird and you can have scattered pleomorphism in them, you can have myxoid change, you can have epidermal induction that has basaloid follicular appearance, um, you can have really dilated vessels, you can have really sclerotic stroma and all of that. So anyway, just know that that's a, a nice, nice take home pearl that if you're like, I think this is on the nose and it's a spindly thing with some vessels, the answer is angiofibroma until proven otherwise. Cool? In real life, again, we do have to think of other stuff, but um, here we've got the dilated vessels. There is dense collagen. This one also has a bit of edema. I suspect that's because it's so pedunculated that there's probably some impingement on the, the lymphatic drainage and it's getting some backed up lymphatic drainage with some, a little bit of like localized lymphedema-like change in the midst of the angiofibroma. You can see a similar thing in large um, uh, acrocordon uh, skin tags uh, where they get kind of twisted on their stalk and they start getting a variety of reactive changes, including edema and dilated lymphatics because the, the lymphatic flow is not is, is uh, compromised by the thin stalk. So here we've got some kind of stellate, star-shaped, triangle-shaped cells that look like reactive myofibroblasts almost. In the more sclerotic areas, this is like more typical, these kind of spindled or stellate, spiky-looking cells sometimes with the like binucleation or trinucleation. And uh, my program director for fellowship, Doug Parker, said that these reminded him of the little insignia uh, on the Star Trek uniforms in the next generation. So the little kind of swoops uh, thing right there. So that's kind of nice. If you're a Star Trek fan, you'll either, either love this or you'll hate it and say it's blasphemy and this does not look anything like this insignia. So the choice is yours. Uh, but in any case, I like that, that they are kind of, when we say stellate, it means star-shaped, but what we really mean is triangle-shaped. I'm very literal, and I do not think these look like stars. Stars should be like five points, little drawn out, or six points, but should be very like symmetric, and that's not what this looks like to me. So I like a, you know pointy, spiky, triangle-shaped. Those are visual words that work for me. But you do you, whatever you like. All right, so there you go. A nice, juicy example of a benign fibrous papular angiofibroma. If you have multiple of these on the face of a kid, what do they probably have? Tuberous sclerosis. Exactly. The so-called adenoma sebaceum of tuberous sclerosis is actually a double misnomer. It is neither an adenoma nor is it sebaceous. It is just an angiofibroma uh, around uh, where there are multiple on the face of a child. But the vast majority of fibrous papules I see are solitary incidental lesions in adults. And they can, if you have multiple, what is a uh, Berthog Debay also can have, right? Um, uh, f multiple fibrous papules in adults. Am I saying that correct or did I get it wrong? Yes. Okay. Cool. Always make sure all these syndromes, hard to keep them straight no matter how long you've been doing this. All right. So that's a nice one. Very pretty.